Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform your ROG Ally or your Lenovo Legion Go into a Steam Deck with an operating system known as Bazide. I took a look at this a while ago on the channel when it was in really early development. I totally forgot about it until one of my good buddies from uh, Cyber Dopamine actually mentioned it to me. I asked him what it was and he told me, yeah, you actually made a video on it a while ago. So I went back over to their website and noticed that the updates have been coming out constantly for this. I installed it on my Lenovo Legion Go and I actually haven't been able to put the Go down since I've got the operating system installed. This is definitely one of the more stable, better performing Linux operating systems for your handheld gaming PC. And in my opinion, it's totally worth trying out. This gives us all the bells and whistles that the Steam Deck has. We've got system-wide FSR, TDP control. As you can see, we've got that gamepad UI. And I really wanted to make a tutorial showing you how to install this. Now on my channel, I do not deal with dual booting systems because once you mess something up and you lose your operating system, then it's gonna become my fault. So I always recommend a clean install single operating system, but you can dual boot this. There is a tutorial over on the Bazite website if you want to have Windows and Bazite running on your handheld. It's totally possible to do so. We've also got a desktop interface here, very similar to the Steam Deck. There's actually a couple different flavors you can choose from when you're installing. But I'd say the main claim to fame here is Gamepad UI, and this is working amazingly on the Legion Go. They actually have a few different tiers. This is in their Platinum tier, so mainly everything here is working. We've got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, we've got that 1600p display up to 144 hertz. Everything that works with the Steam Deck works here. And when it comes to TDP control, we can actually take this up to 40 watts using a third-party application installed with Decky. And I'll show you that right now. This is simple TDP control. So while we're playing a game, we can access this menu, lower or raise the TDP to get better performance out of it or better battery life. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get everything up and running on the Legion Go. This will also transfer over to the ROG Ally or basically any other handheld. But since I first installed it on the Legion Go and this is kind of the main unit I've been using it with, I'm gonna stick with this handheld. I wanted to give you a look at Cyberpunk 2077 running here at 1200p low settings. I am using some FSR here from the game settings, not system-wide FSR. And we're well over 60 FPS. I'm seeing averages of around 74 with this one at 1200p. So if you lowered that resolution, you could probably get up into the 80s. And on some devices, especially with this Ryzen Z1 Extreme, I've actually noticed better performance with Cyberpunk 2077 in Linux versus Windows. So yeah, that's a really good thing here. And we've got this big, beautiful 8.8 inch display to run this all on. Desktop mode does come in really handy. And since we've got a little trackpad over here on the Legion Go, super easy to navigate, but you could use that touch screen. And we've also got these detachable controllers. And with the latest updates to Bazai, you can use what Lenovo calls FPS mode. So the detachable controllers playing Steam games. But usually I kind of just save that for desktop mode. It's more of a gimmick if you ask me. That way I've got kind of a detachable mouse here. I can actually navigate the full operating system with these detached. So if you're interested in getting Bazai up and running on your handheld gaming device, we're gonna get right into it. But first things first, there are a few things you're gonna need before you even get started here. Over on their website, they do have specific images for certain handhelds, plus just kind of a general handheld. As long as it's running an x86 CPU, chances are you could run Bazai. But what we're gonna need here is a keyboard and mouse. This is gonna be really important for setting up your name and password on initial installation. Once we've got everything installed, we're really not gonna need that. I'm using a wireless mouse and keyboard, plus I've got a USB Type-C hub, so we've got some USB ports there. I can plug that in. Just makes it really easy to get that keyboard plugged in. Plus, we're gonna need a USB device to flash from. I'm just using the SanDisk. It's actually full-size USB and USB Type-C. And in order to get the operating system, we're gonna need another PC. Now, you could do it from the device you're gonna be flashing to. We just need to make sure that we get the operating system installed on the USB drive so we can flash it to the internal storage on our handheld device. So the install process is pretty straightforward. You're gonna flash this to your device like you would any other operating system. Uh, they've got a full website, lots of information, but I would highly recommend heading over to the Bazite Wiki. I'll leave a link in the description. This is the handheld compatibility section. This gives you a nice rundown on different devices, Steam Deck, LCD, Legion Go, the AIN Loki Max, Asus ROG Ally, and many more. 
We're going to be focusing on the Legion Go for this video. If you're interested in checking out a full Ally video, just let me know in the comments below. But obviously, first thing we need to do is download the operating system. So we're going to download Bazite. And they've got a pretty nice little section here. So you're going to select your hardware. Steam Deck, Legion Go, ROG Ally, GPD, other handheld PCs. We're going with the Legion Go. Which desktop environment would you like? You can do the KDE, which is what I had installed on my Legion Go. Very similar to SteamOS, or you could go with GNOME. Something that looks a little nicer, like Ubuntu. But I'm just going to go with KDE. And we'll download it. While we're waiting for this to download, we also need to get an application to allow us to flash this to our USB drive. And we're going to be using Etcher. This works for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Just choose your operating system from here. And once Bazai is finished downloading, we can go ahead and start up Etcher. So now that we've got Bazai downloaded and Etcher installed, ready to go, it's time to flash our USB drive. I've already plugged it in. And this is the ISO we just downloaded, bazai-deckstable.iso. From Etcher, we're going to flash from file. We're going to navigate to where we have our ISO that we downloaded. Mine's right on my desktop. Double click. Select our target, and our target is going to be our USB drive. Sand disk, 30 gigs. If you've got several drives plugged into your PC, make sure you choose the correct one. It's also going to give you kind of a warning here, but just make sure you're not overriding something that you need. We'll select that drive, and now we'll flash. Etcher is going to get that set up on the USB drive for us. Once this is finished, we can move back over to our device and install Bazite. Our USB drive is finished. Now it's time to flash it to our device. I've got my hub plugged in with the USB drive we just flashed and a wireless keyboard and mouse combo here. While we're booting up the Legion Go, we're going to press F2 on our keyboard. This is going to bring us into the BIOS. Right at the bottom where our boot option is, we want to make sure that the first option is our USB drive now. Once we've got that selected, we're going to get into more settings. And there's two things that I've changed here. From security, we're going to disable secure boot. And I'm not sure if this is enabled by default. I may have reflashed this before. And we're also going to make sure that USB boot is enabled. Both of those options. And we're also going to be booting directly from that USB drive. We'll save and exit. Now, as the system's starting back up, it's going to boot from USB. I've just moved over to my game capture to make it a bit easier to see. We're going to install Bazite Deck, or you can test media and install. I'm going to go with the first option here. It's going to run through everything, and it'll bring us into the installer. First thing we want to do here is choose our language. We'll use English. Now we need to choose our hard drive or our SSD. Installation destination. So with this setup here, I'm going with the NVMe. And remember, I mentioned at the beginning, I don't do dual boot setups on this channel because once you mess something up, it's gonna be my fault. We're clean installing this to the only hard drive in the Legion Go. So if you wanted to keep Windows, then you might not wanna do this. We're gonna choose the drive. Done, up at the top. Reclaim space. And from here, we're going to choose Delete All. So we are deleting that full hard drive in the Legion Go to install Bazite. Reclaim Space. User Creation. Username. You'll also need to create a password. Done. And begin installation. It's going to wipe that drive and install Bazite for us. Once this is finished, it's going to give us a prompt to reboot. We'll reboot when it tells us to. My installation is now finished. I'm going to choose done. We're going to give it a few seconds and then I can unplug that USB drive. But I do want to leave my keyboard and mouse plugged in because there are a few little things we need to set up before we can really get into handheld mode and adjust that TDP and everything. Got a nice little boot animation here. And the first boot, it's going to bring us to the desktop. Don't worry. After we get this set up properly, it's always going to bring us into gamepad UI mode. First things first, let's set up our Wi-Fi. Once we've got our Wi-Fi set up, you can see we've got a little welcome screen. And this is great because on the initial boot, we can actually just go ahead and install Decky or a few other applications like EMU Deck. I would just scroll through, see what you want to install. You can experiment with this. But remember, you can always come back to this later on and install more applications. 
The only one I'm installing right now is Deki because this is kind of required to get our TDP control. Next screen, kind of the same thing, but it's a list of different applications that we can install. Again, it's really user preference. If you want to install anything, it's probably here. Out of the box with the ROG Ally or the Legion Go, we do need to install simple TDP control. We need to do this from terminal. So from our keyboard, we're going to press Control Alt T. This is going to open up our terminal emulator. And remember, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned the Bazai handheld wiki. This is going to come in really handy for copying and pasting commands. We want to install simple TDP control for Deki. So we'll go ahead and paste it in here, or you can type it out. We'll enter our password, press enter. It's going to install it for us, and now we need to reboot one time. From now on, every time we start up this device, it's going to bring us into the GamePad UI, so it'll look just like the Steam Deck. So we'll restart the device. And from now on, every time you start this device up, it's going to bring us into GamePad UI. It's going to look just like the Steam Deck. Now, obviously, you'll need to sign into Steam. But we can go ahead and unplug everything because we don't need to worry about the keyboard and mouse anymore. That was really just for the initial install and setting up our TDP control with the Legion Go or the ROG Ally. Gives us the welcome screen, just like a fresh Steam Deck once you take it out of the box. We'll just choose our language. We can choose our location. It should already be set up because we were already in desktop mode. Sign into Steam, and now you're done installing Bazai on your handheld gaming device. Give you a few tips here on the Legion Go. This left button over here is going to bring up kind of our menu so we can go into settings. We can update Steam right here. I'm on the stable build. I'm going to leave it like this. Right button is going to bring up our quick access menu. And from here, we've got all of the settings we need to use. Brightness, volume. We can set up our performance overlay so we can see exactly what's going on. Change the refresh rate of the screen. And on the Legion Go, we can go up to 144 hertz. And remember, we installed Simple TDP Control and Deki. So at the bottom, we've got a little plug-in section, Simple TDP Control. I've got this set up so it can go all the way up to 40 watts. And at the bottom, you can actually adjust this, your minimum and your maximum. But our very top slider is going to determine what TDP our APU is running at. And 15 to 30 watts on this does a really good job depending on what game you're running. But yeah, overall, Bazai on the Legion Go and the ROG Ally has been a really great experience. I'm going to get into one of my favorite arcade racers real quick. We'll do Forza Horizon 5. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. All the links that I mentioned will be in the description, so definitely read through that handheld wiki. We can add a few extras, but this was just kind of a way to get you set up quickly. We've got TDP control, and you can be up and gaming in under 30 minutes with Bazai on your device. But that's it for this one, and like always, thanks for watching.